Yeah, dude. Let's talk Capitals, please, Darius. The Capitals. Let's talk about the Caps. We've got our guy, Nick Dow, brought to you by Main Street Bank. Cheer local. Bank local. Put our team in your office. Visit mstreetbank.com for more information. Nick, the Islanders in town for a game tonight. What do we need to know about the Isles in this matchup? I mean, always a good game when we play these guys. Uh, you know, they've been uh, obviously having a good season here. And, um, you know, I'm sure, uh, you know, I think with the the game that we, we played against them uh, on the island uh, was was a really good game for us. It was on the dad trip, so that was a lot of fun. Um, but, yeah, we had a really one of our better games of the year against them then. So uh, I'm sure they'll be well prepared tonight and, um you know, it's always a fast game, so we're into it. Nick, we talk about this a lot. I'm always amazed and, and in awe of you guys as as professionals. And, and part of what that means is you, you come in second in the game and you've got another game. And you guys wash it clean and you stay even. You don't get too high, too low. Me, pudgy fan, eating pork rinds on the couch. Like, I think about Pittsburgh scoring more goals than you guys. And, like, it eats at me and I'm, like, mad at everyone and, and, and whatever. <laughs> Are, are all losses created equal for you guys, or, or sometimes can you go, damn, that one hurts a little bit more? Like, how do, how do you process it? Because I know you're over it because you got another game to play, but how do you deal with it? Yeah, they're, they're, definitely, they're definitely not... Uh, uh, they're, definitely, they're definitely not created equal. Um, you know, I, I would say, uh, you know, when, you're, when you get down to the end of the season or you're playing, you know, there's certain situations, like I would say that that game was a big game for the standings. Um, you know, and playoff potential. I also think, like, when you play a team like Pittsburgh uh, that you have a lot of rivalry with uh, and you've had over the, uh, you know, a long time, really, since Obi's really been here in Crosby, uh, playoffs, I mean, they, they have a lot of history there. So, um, yeah, all the losses are not, are not created equal. Uh, that was an emotional game. And, you know, not to mention, right, like we were down 3 nothing, we come back 3-3 and then, um, you know, kind of give up a goal late. Uh, yeah, it was tough. I mean, those are those are tough to swallow, especially this time of the year. Um, you know, but I think going forward, basically every single game is going to feel like that for for us. So, Nick Dowd with us on Grant and Danny, his weekly appointment. Six games left for you guys. I mean, what is the mindset now with the playoffs being unlikely, but still mathematically, you guys have a shot. Yeah, I mean, I want to win all six games. I mean, I'm not I'm not looking ahead. We can't. I don't think we have the ability to look ahead by at all. We we play, I think, um, you know, all very good teams coming up. Uh, teams that some teams that are ahead of us in the standings that are really close to us. So yeah, these games are are huge games, and you know, I think to give ourselves a shot, we have to play our best hockey in you know in every single game, uh, you know, that's coming up here. But <laughs> I think uh, I think you know most importantly, it's just like. Coming down to the end of the year, playoffs or not, you want to be playing good hockey. You want to feel good about yourself. And uh, I know going, you know, last year that was that was the same thing, right? Like we we were going into playoffs and we had lost some games towards the end of the year, and uh, you know we potentially weren't feeling great about our our hockey. Right? I think that like it's you just going <clears throat> going into the postseason, um, you want to uh, just make sure you're playing playing good hockey and I think even with these last six games like you said obviously not mathematically eliminated by any means but um, you know I, I think we played I actually think we played really good against Pittsburgh I think we played well enough to win that game and we came up short uh, like I said it was an emotional loss but um, you know I, I want to win these next six games regardless of the outcome at the end of the season that's yeah, short change I think eight games but you got a chance at 16 eight games points. there you go yeah uh, I, I wanted to ask you, you, there, you guys have been I'd obviously up and down. That's not the right phrase, Nick. But there have been yeah. moments where, like you, you mentioned, it, you come roaring back against Pittsburgh, and I'm going, yeah. this is brilliant hockey. This is outstanding. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. th- there have been times where it hasn't been the same in clicking. What's the difference that you notice in, in those? Is it just a puck bounce here or there? Or is there something more, like, tangible that you can point to? Yeah, I mean, I think overall, like, the, you know, there's something more tangible. I do, I do really – I mean, I'm, this is going to sound like an excuse. I'm sure people are going to say that. But uh, I, I do really think that, you know, when you couple bad bounces with not playing good hockey, which at times everybody goes through, but I think this year we've, you know, we've had our fair share of, of not playing our best hockey. But when you couple that with bad bounces, it, it you know, everything seems worse. But I will admit, like, this year we've 
for whatever reason, it seems to me like we've run into some really hot goaltenders at times. We've had some really, really bad bounces. We've had some really bad injuries. Um, you know, we've missed a lot of crucial players. I mean, even that Pittsburgh game, like, you know, we're doing, we're, our penalty kill is doing, you know, great against one of the top ranked power plays at home. And then we get into the third period. Uh, Willie goes to make the right play to play it back to Reamer, and the freaking puck bounces over Reamer's stick right into a Pittsburgh breakaway. So it's like, I'm like, we're kind of all sitting there like, what the hell? Like, give me a break. Um, but I think when you're pointing to something more tangible, I, I think when we're playing really well, uh, unfortunately, it's been when we've been behind. Uh, we've started out a lot of games where we're down going into the second period. Um, and that's hard to come back on teams. I mean, it's emotionally tough too, right? Like the Pittsburgh game, we're down 3 nothing, And I thought we really could have been up 3 nothing in that game. And I thought their goalie played really well. We didn't capitalize on a couple chances, but... Um, we're down 3 nothing, right? It's emotionally wearing, man, to come back and come back and come back. And then if you win those games like we did against Buffalo, if you remember in a shootout, uh, when we were down 3 nothing and came back and won that game, I mean, that's like emotionally, that's, that's as high as you can get. Um, but I think when you're constantly trying to, to dig yourself out of a hole, that's A, that's super challenging to, to do in the NHL. Uh, and we've done that to our, done that to ourselves a lot. I mean, you remember the, um, I think you remember the Minnesota game at Minnesota was the same way, right? I mean, we were down one nothing like 50 seconds into the game. Um, so, so I think our starts have not been great. Uh, but I think when you do see us playing our, our best hockey is that, I mean, our team is playing fast. We're playing with a ton of urgency. Um, and then, you know, finally in that, uh, in that Pittsburgh game, I mean, they could barely get the puck out of their end and we were charging and, and, you know, it paid off for us. And some games it does, right? Some games it pays off and you score a couple goals and you can get yourself back into it. But the problem is, is, is it's just too tough to score goals in this league. Um, so a lot of those games, it, you know, even regardless of how hard you're working and how well you're playing late, late in the game, you just, you know, may not find the goals and you don't end up winning the game. So I think that's, I think we've had a tough time playing from behind this year. Good luck tonight. Puck drop at seven. I got my little guy going to the game for the first time. So that's how about awesome, a couple yeah. of nicked out goals? I don't want a hat trick because. <laughs> And he's going to wear his good hat. Yeah, that's over indulge. I, I don't. I don't need him throw. You know, yeah, we, we don't need. Him. Yeah, we don't. We don't need too many pies either. That's well, it, a lot of pie gets you know, filled very fast. But maybe two goals from <laughs> Doubter in like a five-one win, something like that. I like that. I like the sound of that. I'll pass that on. All right, thank you, buddy. We appreciate you. <laughs> See you. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, fellas. All right. Nick Dowd brought to you by Main Street Bank. Cheer local, bank local. Put our team in your office. Visit mstreetbank.com. Nick Dowd on Grant and Danny here on The Fan. Next, the Fal-